If you write automated tests in Cypress, Playwright, or Selenium, you may have encountered this case before. You're testing an application that relies on two-factor authentication email codes. But how do you test it? Well, using a free service like MailSlurp, we can create unlimited email addresses in our tests and use them to sign up for new accounts and receive confirmation codes. So in this video, we're going to write a test in Cypress.js to test this sign-up flow. We're going to create a new email address in MailSlurp and use it as the username. Then when we submit the form, we will wait for the confirmation code to arrive, extract out the code and submit it again to confirm our account. Let's get started. Okay, so let's write a test for this application using Cypress.js. And these principles we're going to cover work for any test framework that involves testing two-factor authentication, whether that's Cypress, Selenium, Jest, whatever you like to use. So here I have a typical Cypress.js project that I've already set up. And the dependencies we need to install is a plugin called Cypress Mail Slurp. So I'm just going to run npm install save deb Cypress Mail Slurp now. And in our uh, support E2E file, we need to make sure we import the Cypress MailSlurp plugin. That means it will be available for us when we write our tests. So in this test, what I'm doing is I'm testing the two-factor authentication codes against a dummy application I've created at playground.mailslurp.com. What we need to do in this test is create a new unique email address to sign up a user, then receive a verification code, extract that code and submit it to the application to confirm our account. So I've already written a few steps and we're going to fill out the rest in this tutorial. So why don't we just have a look now? Um, the first step is to visit the application and click on the create account link. Then we're just going to wait a little while and figure out what we need to do next. So why don't we uh, run this test? To do so, um, you need to add your mail slurp uh, API key as an environment variable. So if you go into your dashboard at app.mailslurp.com and log into your account, you can see your API key here. We're going to copy that, go back to our test, and we need to set an environment variable so that the MailSlurp plugin can load our API. So we can type Cypress MailSlurp API key like that, and then paste in our API key. Let's say OK. And now when we run our test, we should be able to connect to the MailSlurp library. So let's run it and see what happens. OK, great. The application has loaded, and we can see that Cypress is just waiting now. So the first step is we need to generate a new email address for this username field and then use a dummy password and create a new account. So where I had this wait line, what we're going to do is we're going to delete that and we're going to access the mail slurp plugin. Okay. And then we can say then and um, get access to the API like that and say mail slurp dot create inbox. Okay. So that will create a brand new email address for us. And we can store that value using uh, a wrap function. So if we say like function like that, and then say um, cy dot, dot wrap, uh, pass in the inbox as a parameter, say inbox dot ID as inbox ID like that. And we'll do the same for the email address like that and say um, email address. Okay, so this CY wrap function means we can access these values later in the test using this. So we can say inbox ID on the this object. The only thing to know is we must use a function and not an arrow function due to the lexical scope of this. So for the next step of the test, we want to use that email address to sign up as a user. And I've got here a line saying get the email form and type in the email address. Then type in a test password and click create account. After this, let's just add a wait and we'll run the test and see how far it gets. Okay, Cypress is loading the application and we can see that it is typing a new email address into the form and it clicked submit. So now we're on this confirm sign up page and what we need to do is extract the email verification code and enter it into this confirmation code field. Okay, so back in my test, if we say CY um, then and we are going to put in a function here so we can access the ID. And we want to say um, cy.mailslurp, um, then say mailslurp, 
and say mail slurp dot wait for latest email. It's that easy. So this is a function that takes in a um, inbox ID, a wait time. So we're going to wait up to two minutes and then a Boolean for whether we want uh, unread emails only. Amazing. Okay. And then uh, after that, we can say uh, access the email. So we'll be past the email object. And in here, we can make an assertion about the email value. So let's just say we expect the email body to equal, and we'll just put in a test value so we can find out what's actually in the email body. Okay. The test is running and we can see a new email address is being created and submitted to the form. And we are waiting for the email to arrive. And great, okay, our test has failed, which is what we wanted. And we can see here the text in the email body. So your demo verification code is 017717. Okay, great. So how could we extract that number and insert it into our confirmation code field? Well, I'll show you now. So one method would be using a regex. Okay, so what we can do is say const code equals and then define a regex to match that value. So we can see that it says code is and then six numbers. So how would we match that? We can say code is and then put a uh, capture group. Uh, we'll say um, numbers and we want six of them. And we put that in parentheses like this. And then we can say exec and pass in the email body. Okay. And we can make an assertion now on the code. The captured group will be at the first at uh, index one. So the exec function returns an array. The first element at index zero will be the full string and the element at index one will be our capture group if it exists. So let's just say we expect code one and uh, put that there, code one to equal uh, one, two, three. So we're gonna put in a fake number and then run our test to see what we actually extract. You can see the application is loading. It's signing up with a new email address and password. And now it's waiting for the email to arrive. And our test failed, but that is what we wanted. So we can see it has matched a confirmation code here. And we can use that confirmation code now to complete the sign up process. So we want to save this value. Um, so we can use wrap and say code um, one. So we're going to save that value. And as code like that. So that means in the next stages, we can access this value and enter it into our confirmation field. Okay, so now that we have extracted a code, the next step is to use that code to confirm the account. So I've already written that in my test. What I have here is a selector for the code um, form input, and then I'm clicking the confirm sign up button. After that, I perform the sign in operation. I sign in with the username and password, click sign in. And if all goes to plan, I see a welcome screen. So let's run our test and see what happens. Okay, the application is loading. We can see a brand new email address and password are being used. And the test is waiting for the confirmation code. You saw it there, it was entered and the account is signing in again. And our test passes, huh? So we just tested two-factor authentication using email verification codes in Cypress.js. It was that easy. We created brand new email addresses for each test run and used them to receive a verification code. We then used a simple regex to extract that code and enter it into the confirmation field. This method is really useful when you're testing applications end-to-end. -end. User sign-up, email verification, lost password reset, these are all really critical parts of an application and it's a great idea to test them. MailSlurp is a free API service that you can use in all your tests today. Test two-factor authentication with real emails and prevent any nasty bugs getting to production. I hope you liked that tutorial. Check out our other videos and give us a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye.